Hey guys, it's me, Kyle Rapport, Movie Buff One, and you are watching Jamming the Music Man. Peace. What's up guys, it's me, Jammin' Music Man, and welcome to my all new unboxing video, or as I like to call them, Unbanging. And today's Unbanging, it's all about World Championship Wrestling. That's right, I recently found somebody on eBay that is putting out WCW uh, pay-per-views, classic WCW pay-per-views, on Blu-ray as like combo sets. That's right, so if you go to eBay, just type in WCW Blu-ray and you should see like a whole bunch of them uh, coming up. Now, these WCW Blu-rays are not released by the WWE, if you know what I mean. These are, this, these are bootleg copies, but I've watched all these WCW Blu-rays that I'm about to show you guys and the picture quality is excellent. It looks just like if you were watching it on the network. So you guys are going to check out here real soon what I've picked up off of eBay. But this package right here, this is the big special uh, package that I want to show you guys because it's a complete uh, anthology set of one of my all-time favorite WCW pay-per-views that I'm going to show you guys later on in this video. So enough of the talk. Let's check out and see what I've purchased off of eBay for my WCW Blu-ray collection. All right, you guys, I just got home from work and I've got myself another package in the mail. And as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's another classic WCW pay-per-view on Blu-ray. But what classic pay-per-view is it? You guys are about to find out. And of course, I'm joined by my friends or my sisters, Gladys and her mama Cheyenne and my little brother Porkchop. He's here too. He's a little bit camera shy. But I went to the mailbox and I saw my package was open a little bit. I don't know if any of my nosy neighbors were trying to, uh, you know, take a peek to see what I got. So I kind of opened it up a little bit. So just to make it a little bit easier. So enough of talk. Let's see what I got. And it is, oh man, on Blu-ray, Star K91 and Star K92. These are two of my all-time favorite WCW pay-per-views. I know there's a lot of mixed opinions, mixed reviews on the whole Lethal Lottery uh, Battle Bowl thing. But uh, the, uh, the first Lethal Lottery Battle Bowl was in 1991. Star K91, Sting ended up winning. And basically, uh, if you guys don't remember the whole Lethal Lottery concept, basically they drew your name out of a fishbowl. So either you can end up team teaming with your best friend or your worst enemy or you could end up facing your best friend or worst enemy and then once uh you know you won your your lethal lottery tag match you would advance to the battle bowl uh battle royal sting won the first one and pretty much the whole uh star k91 pay-per-view was the lethal lottery uh battle bowl uh concept now at star k92 they would have just a, a couple of matches for the Lethal Lottery Battle Bowl, but they would also have uh, some other matches. Um, the winner of the uh, Battle Bowl 92 at Starcade 92 was one of the, the all-time greats, one of my favorites, the great Muda. He ended up winning. I believe he ended up eliminating Barry Windham to win Starcade uh, or Battle Bowl 92. But the other matches they had on here uh, we had the NWA World Champion Masahiro Shono taking on the Great Muda Classic match. Uh, we also get Shane Douglas and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat who were the Unified Tag Team Champions taking on Barry Windham and Brian Pillman. And I know Windham and Pillman, uh, they had recently turned heel around this time. And also we get Sting taking on Big Van Vader in the King of uh, Cable uh, Tournament Final. But uh, if I had to take my pick of which uh, battle bowl I like the most between the two, I would have to stay Star K92. I always liked uh, 
uh, that pay-per-view the best. And I'm definitely going to look forward to watching this on uh, Blu-ray. And like, like I said previously, uh, there's a guy right now on eBay selling classic WCW pay-per-views on Blu-ray. Check him out. All you got to do is just go to eBay and type in WCW Blu-rays. And you can find a ton of them, I mean. So, definitely looking forward to checking this out. So, off to see what I got next right now. All right, you guys, I just got home and checked my mailbox, and I got two packages in the mail, and I'm pretty sure they're these WCW Blu-rays that I've been purchasing off of eBay, and I'm going to show you guys what I got, but which package am I going to start off with first? I think I will start off with this one. Let's see what I got in this package right here. You guys, I got the package now open. You guys are going to see what I got first, and it is... Classy Champions 12 and Great American Bass 1991 Blu-ray Combo. Uh, this Classy Champions, the main event, you get Sting, who was then the NWA Heavyweight Champion, taking on the Mysterious Black Scorpion. Lex Luger, who was the U.S. Champion, taking on Nature Boy Ric Flair. Uh, Stan Hansen's taking on the Z-Man. Also, the Steiner Brothers, the Nasty Boys, the Fabulous Freebirds, they're all on this Classy Champions. And then we get... Great American Bash 91. Now, I know a lot of people consider this one of the worst WCW pay-per-views. Um, when this pay-per-view uh, was out, this was in July of 91, WCW was in turmoil. Uh, Ric Flair, who was then, or previously, he was the WCW Heavyweight Champion. He had just left the company. He was heading to the WWF, and he took the big gold belt with him. So, WCW was trying to figure out... What do we do? We need a new world champion. So they end up putting uh, Lex Luger and Barry Windham in a steel cage to determine a new champion. Now Luger was a babyface heading into this pay-per-view, but he would end up walking out uh, as a heel. Uh, he ended up capturing the title with the help of Harley Race. Uh, the main event for this Great American Bash, you get Rick Steiner taking on Arn Anderson and Polly Dangerously in a handicap match. Also on this card, uh, you get a really bad, terrible scaffold match. I know a lot of people talk about this scaffold match. Uh, you get PN News and Bobby Eaton taking on uh, Stunning Steve Austin and Terrence Taylor. Also on this card, you get never before we would ever see this. You get Richard Morton, aka Ricky Morton, taking on Robert Gibson. That's right, the Rock and Roll Express. They actually faced each other at one point in time. Um, also, you get. Uh, El Giante taking on the one-man game. Nikita Koloff's taking on Sting. Looking forward to checking out Great American Bash 91. It's been many, many years since I've seen it. And definitely looking forward to checking out this class of champions. Uh, all on Blu-ray. So, let's open up this next package right here to see what I got. And I'm going to show you guys first before I see and it is you guys are seeing it first it is Super Brawl the first Super Brawl and Super Brawl 2 oh man these are classics right here the first Super Brawl you get uh, Ric Flair taking on Tatsumi uh, Fujinami if you guys remember back in 1991 uh, you know the first ever WCW New Japan Super Show Fujinami and Flair, that was the main event for the Super Show. Fujinami ended up picking up a win over Ric Flair. And there was kind of controversy whether was Tatsumi Fujinami, was he the new WCW World Heavyweight Champion? Well, Ric Flair ended up taking the title back here to the U.S. And they had this match at the first ever Super Brawl to determine who was the true WCW Heavyweight Champion. Also on this card you get Bobby Eaton taking on Arn Anderson in a great match for the TV title. The Steiner Brothers taking on Sting and Lex Luger. Uh, Barry Wyndham taking on Brian Pillman. And then on Super Brawl 92, the main event for this card, uh, you get Sting taking on WCW Heavyweight Champion Lex Luger. This would be uh, Lex Luger's final match in WCW as he would uh, later head on to the WWF. Also on this card, we get Rick Rude, who I believe was the U.S. champion, taking on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Uh, Arn Anderson and Bobby Eaton taking on the Steiner Brothers. Barry Wyndham and Dustin Rhodes taking on Steve Austin and Larry Zabisco. This is right around the time when 
one of my all-time favorite heel factions, the Dangerous Alliance, were taking over WCW. But definitely looking forward to checking out this Super Brawl 1 and 2 Blu-ray combo. All right, you guys, I got the package now open. And I'm going to show you guys what I got. And this first Blu-ray is, oh, man, Class of the Champions 20 and Class of the Champions 21. Uh, Class of the Champions 20, this is when the WCW was celebrating 20 years of being on TBS, and I know Class of the Champion 20 also has the last U.S. appearance of Andre the Giant on American television. Uh, but the main event for this Class of Champions, it was a eight-man elimination match. You got Rick Rude, Jake the Snake Roberts, Super Invader, and Big Van Vader taking on Sting, Nikita Koloff, and the Steiner Brothers. Also, we get the Barbarian and Butch Reed taking on Barry Windham and Dustin Rhodes. Uh, Ron Simmons, who was the WCW World Champion at this time, taking on Cactus Jack. And then on Class of the Champions 21, uh, the main event for this card was Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Shane Douglas taking on Barry Windham and Dustin Rhodes. I believe they were the unified tag team champions at the time. And I know uh, Steamboat and Douglas, they end up picking up the win. And I know Windham... Uh, turn on Dustin Rhodes. Also on this card you get Sting taking on Rick Rude. Medusa's taking on Polly Dangerously. And I believe this was uh, Polly Dangerously's last appearance in a WCW. And also uh, they've added a WCW Saturday Night episode. It's the WCW Saturday Night from November 21st, 1992. But definitely looking forward to checking out this right here. Class of the Champions 20. And 21. And let's see what else we got in here. And this last Blu ray we have is. Oh man, it's Halloween Havoc 1991 and Halloween Havoc 1992. Of course, Halloween Havoc 1991 has got that infamous Chamber of Horrors match where we get Abdul the Butcher uh, getting electrocuted in the uh, electric chair. Also, we get on this card. Um, Let's see, what else do we get? We get Johnny B. Bad taking on Jimmy Jam Garvin. We get Bobby Eaton taking on Terrence Taylor. Dustin Rhodes taking on uh, Stunner Steve Austin for the TV title. Brian Pillman's taking on Richard Morton in the finals for the uh, to determine the first ever WCW lightweight champion in the main event. You get Ron Simmons taking on the world champ Lex Luger in a best two out of three falls match. And then on Halloween Havoc 1992, the main event for this show was Sting and Jake the Snake Roberts going to spin the wheel, make the deal match. Classic memories right here. Looking forward to checking it out. And I got this final package right here. I'm going to show you guys what I got. You guys are going to see it first. What is it? Oh, man, what is it? It's, oh, Starcade 89 Future Shock and Starcade 90 Collision Course. Starcade 89, one of my all time favorite Starcades. I know a lot of people didn't like this Starcade because it was a, a round robin tournament. Uh, you had the, the Iron Man uh, competition and the Iron Team competition. On the Iron Man competition, you had Sting, Ric Flair, Great Muda, and Lex Luger. And then with the Iron Team, you had the Steiners, uh, the Road Warriors, uh, the Samoan SWAT team, and uh, Doom. And then on Starcade 90, the main event for this card, you get uh, the WCW champ Sting taking on the Black Scorpion in a steel cage match. And of course, the Black Scorpion ended up being uh, the Nature Boy Ric Flair. And then they had uh, the Pat O'Connor, uh, yeah, Pat O'Connor tag tournament going on for this card. And I believe the Steiners ended up picking up the win. But definitely looking forward to checking out this Blu ray right here. But man, got a lot to watch right here. Like I said, just go to eBay, type in WCW Blu-rays, and you should see them. But guys, I got a lot to watch. On to the next part of the video. All right, you guys, I just got home, and of course, I got myself two new packages in my mailbox, and I'm going to open them up, and I'm going to show you guys. I think I'll start with this one first. Let's see. All right, you guys, I got the package now open. You guys are going to see it first before I do, and it is, oh man, Beach Blast 92 
and Beach Blast 93, Beach Blast 92 featured um, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat taking on the U.S. Champion Rick Rude in an Iron Man match. Uh, we get the Steiner Brothers taking on the Unified Tag Team Champions of Terry Gordy and Dr. Jeff Steve Williams. Uh, Dustin Rose, Barry Windham, and Nikita Koloff take on members of the Dangerous Alliance. WCW World Champion Sting's taking on Cactus Jack. And they also have a bikini competition between Missy Hyatt and Medusa on Beach Splash 92. So go check that out. And then on Beach Splash 93, the main event, we get the Superpowers. Sting and Davey Boy Smith taking on the Masters of the Powerbomb. Big Van Vader and Sid Vicious. Also, we get Ric Flair taking on the NWA World Champion Barry Windham. Uh, I believe Dustin Rhodes takes on U.S. Champion uh, Rick Rude in another Iron Man match. And then we get the Hollywood Blondes taking on Arn Anderson and Paul Roma. Definitely looking forward to checking out this classic combo Blu-ray set right here. And then for this next package, let's see what I've got. And it is, hold up, you guys are going to see it before I do, and it is, oh man, two of my favorite WCW pay-per-views, Wrestle War 91 and Wrestle War 92. Wrestle War 91, uh, this is, uh, the main event for this card was a War Games match between the Four Horsemen and they take on Sting, the Steiner Brothers, and Flying Brian, and this is the only time you ever saw the Four Horsemen win a War Games match. And definitely looking forward to checking it out. But also we get the Freebirds taking on the WCW Tag Champions uh, Doom. Uh, the Freebirds, they end up capturing the uh, tag titles and then Doom, they would split up. Also we get another great match of uh, US Champion Lex Luger taking on Dan Spivey. And I also remember uh, Nikita Koloff made his return at this pay-per-view after he was gone from WCW for like two years or so. But then on Wrestle War 92, the main event for this card, a lot of people consider the main event, or this War Games match, for this pay-per-view, the greatest War Games match ever. You get the Dangerous Alliance taking on uh, Steam Squadron. You know, uh, the Dangerous Alliance, one of my all-time favorite heel factions, even though they were really only around for like a year but they don't get talked about as much, but I still love the Dangerous Alliance during this time. But also on Wrestle War uh, 92, we get the Steiners taking on Tatsumi Fujinami. And uh, I can't remember the other tag team partner he had, but uh, you get them on there. We get Brian Pillman taking on Tom Zink for the WCW Light Heavyweight title. Definitely looking forward to checking out these classic WCW pay-per-views right here. Alright you guys, I'm back again with two new packages in the mail. I'm going to show you guys what I got. And of course I'm joined by Gladys and Cheyenne. She just joined us on the couch. So let's open up these packages and I'm going to show you what I got. You ready Gladys? Want to sniff it real quick? Want to sniff it? Let's see. Alright, you guys are going to see it first. Before I do, and it is, oh man, I saw it. I actually saw it before you guys. It's WCW Battle Bowl 93, and you get Clash of the Champions 25. Clash of the Champions 25, uh, the main event for this card, you get Ric Flair taking on WCW uh, World Champion Vader. This was one month before their match at Starcade 93. Also, we get the Nasty Boys taking on Sting and Davey Boy Smith. Dustin Rhodes taking on Paul Orndorff. Uh, Stunner Steve Austin takes on Brian Pillman on this Class of the Champions. And then the other pay-per-view we get, we get uh, Battle Bowl 93. And if you guys don't remember, uh, the first two Battle Bowls took place on uh, Starcade 91 and 92. Well, in 93, Battle Bowl had its own uh, exclusive pay-per-view and if you guys don't know the concept of the lethal lottery uh, battle bowl basically um, they draw wrestlers names basically you can team up with uh, your 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 enemy or you can be facing your best friend and then uh, the winners uh, of the lethal lottery they would advance on to a battle royal and if you won the battle royal you became the battle bowl champion uh, a lot of people consider uh, battle bowl 93 one of the worst wcw pay-per-views but definitely looking forward to checking this one out 
And this final package right here, let me show you guys what I got. And you guys are going to see it before I do. Or actually, I'm going to see it before you do. It is, oh man, one of my favorites. Super Brawl 3 and Clash of the Champions 22. Clash of the Champions 22. This took place in January of 93 where we saw uh, Dustin and Rhodes, Sting, and Cactus Jack take on Big Van Vader, Barry Windham, and Paul Orndorff in a Thunderdome uh, cage match. Also, we get Shane Douglas and Ricky the Dragon and Steamboat taking on the Hollywood Blinds, Brian Pillman and Steve Austin. Also, we get Cactus Jack taking on Johnny B. Bad, Too Cold Scorpio taking on Scotty Flamingo, Chris Benoit taking on Brad Armstrong. Looking forward to checking that one out. And then we get one of my all-time favorite WCW pay-per-views, Super Brawl 3, the main event. Sting taking on WCW World Champion Big Van Vader in a White Castle of Fear strap match. And this is a pretty good strap match if you've never seen it. I highly recommend checking it out. Also on Super Brawl 3, we get the WCW debut of uh, the British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith. Also, we get Barry Windham taking on the NWA Champion, The Great Mood, a great match. And this is a great pay-per-view if you've never seen it, but definitely... Looking forward to checking out these classic WCW pay-per-views. Alright, you guys, I just got home from work. And now, I have myself another package. And this package right here, this isn't a Blu-ray. This right here is a classic WCW magazine that I'm going to show you guys in just a few. But before I show you what I got right here, I do have... A WCW Blu-ray that I'm going to show you guys. So let's open up this package and I'll show you. Let's see, you guys are going to see it first before I do. Oh man, it is Super Brawl 4 and Spring Stampede 1994. Super Brawl 4 featured uh, WCW World Champion Ric Flair taking on Vader. This was their rematch from Starcade 93 and they faced each other in the Thunderdome cage. Also, we get another Thunderdome cage match with Sting, Brian Pillman, and Dustin Rhodes taking on Steve Austin, Rick Rude, and Paul Orndorff. Uh, we get Cat Cactus Jack and Max Payne taking on the Nasty Boys and then on Spring Stampede 1994. I love this pay-per-view, one of my all-time favorites. I still have it on VHS. The main event, WCW World Champion Ric Flair taking on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. These guys have faced each other for many, many years, and here we are in 1994. They're doing it again, and I remember this like it was yesterday, their whole feud building up to this pay-per-view. But also we get uh, Vader taking on the boss, a.k.a. the big boss man. Uh, Dustin Rhodes taking on Bunkhouse Buck in, a, I believe, a Bunkhouse match. Uh, it gets bloody in that one. Sting taking on Rick Rude for the WCW International title. Uh, Stunner Steve Austin, who's the U.S. champion, taking on the Great Muda. Two classic pay-per-views from 1994. Looking forward to checking them out. Now, let's open up this bad boy and let's see what I got. All right, you guys. This is a WCW magazine from 1992, and it features one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. I'm going to show you guys... Here real soon, the big reveal. It's a WCW magazine from 1992, and it is, oh man, Brian Pillman shocks the world. The fans can go to hell. This is when Brian Pillman uh, turned heel back in 1992. And I know if you guys follow uh, the Dark Side of the Ring series, they got an episode coming up on uh, Brian Pillman. And Brian Pillman was one of my all-time favorites. You know, I followed him back in the early 90s when he was flying Brian, and I was there when he turned into the loose cannon and very sad what happened to him, but, you know, Brian Pillman, to me, he's a legend, and he I think he deserves to be into the Hall of Fame, and I'm definitely looking forward to checking out that Dark Side of the Ring episode. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed checking out what WCW Blu-rays I picked up from eBay, and if you're a collector like me, it's definitely something you should have in your uh, wrestling Blu-ray collection. Like I said, uh, the picture quality is excellent, and, you know, hope you guys will go check them out and give that guy some business. But this is the big package that I want to show you guys that I've picked up off of eBay. Like I said, it's a 
anthology set of one of my all-time favorite WCW pay-per-views. You get every single WCW pay-per-view uh, from this series, and I'm going to show you guys right now. So let's get done with the talking, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. All right, the package is now open, and I'm going to show you guys what I got. You guys are going to see it before I do, and it is, hold up, we're getting there. It is, oh man, check it out. It's the WCW Spring Stampede Anthology Series. That's right, you get every single WCW Spring Stampede pay-per-view ever. You get uh, the 94, the, uh, the 97, 98, 99, and 2000 Spring Stampede pay-per-view Holy smokes, this is awesome right here. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. I'm not sure how many discs come in here. Uh, I believe it's uh, it's two, two, two discs. This is how it comes in like that. Like I said, these are not released by the WWE. These are, you know, fan-made uh, Blu-ray sets. Um, so, like I said, just check it out on eBay, but man, looking forward to checking this out. The Spring Stampede Anthology Series. Holy smokes. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and go check out some of my past videos. But guys, thanks for always watching. Thanks for your support, and I will see you guys next time.